again, baby. Yes. Oh, I am. This, this, this is a big boy. This, uh, this guy right here is freaking huge. I'm so excited to review him today and show him off. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So obviously, uh, he is a Japanese release. The U.S. release has not come out. As we can see, that golden Toei. Uh, sticker right there, and then we got the Bandai Tomashi Nation's Dragon Ball that toy collector shop thing and showing it off Namekki and Well Smith just Tomashi Nation's quality sticker being all, all all vibrant and stuff, but looking really good loving 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 the way he looks the art on the box looks great uh, on the side looks great as well he's got a little angry face that rice cooker which it just kills me. It really, it really kills me. And then we got some uh, promo shots on the back here, looking really nice, showing off uh, some battles with Goku and uh, that really, really, really ugly egg face. Uh, but ah oh, man, guys. Uh, also, I did mention that this is a Japanese release, and uh, I made a little, uh, a little something, a little something, something uh, for the Japanese collectors uh, out there that uh, I'm sure that you will love. And here he is out of the box, looking nice, looking sexy, just such, just got such a presence. Like, the paint apps on this dude are phenomenal. Uh, the shading looks pretty good from what I can tell. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it, but uh, I just want to just, just give him a little, give him a little twirl, give him a little spin around, uh, and I, I'm very, I gotta say I'm very impressed. Uh, just everything looks really nice. Uh, he, he handles really well. He's a solid, solid figure, and uh, he looks really good. And uh, I'm very pleased with uh, the amount of accessories he comes with. Uh, but just looking really, looking really freaking good. All the, all the detail on the the pink and the Namekian stuff looks really good. Even these potato shoes. Uh, which I've always called them potato shoes. I don't know what they're called, like moccasins maybe or something. Looking really good, but I am so sick of hearing myself talk about our dude on a turntable. Let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Will King Piccolo measure up to the size that he is already? Find out today. <laughs> Moving straight along into articulation here, uh, King Piccolo can do a wingspan about like that, can go full 360, uh, has a butterfly joint back there being able to punch everything. So he has double jointed uh, elbows right there, double jointed arms. However, with his giant muscles and giant forearm, He's not able to over uh, overextend, I would say. So he's got double jointed, but I don't think they can do double jointed things. Uh, can bend his hand about that much. Does have the ball joint within the wrist. Uh, can bend it bend it forward about this much right there. If you put any more pressure on it, it's gonna pop off. So uh, it can't really move. Too too much going forward but it, it still stays on there's really no issue with it right there has an ab crunch right there going looking down like that and then uh, limbo style not really crazy or anything like this I feel like the DeMeo symbol right here kind of stops the uh, articulation movements going down uh, but he does you know, move all the way around like that. Has the 2.0 body, can do a fantastic split like that, can kick up uh, about that high, which is, I mean, you can do that, but that that's not natural. You don't, you know, I do that. Um, so he does have a thigh cut right there as well. However, it it doesn't move. Uh, so, so some of the some of the dudes, some of the figures, you can like twist it around and stuff. It his doesn't move. Uh, does have double jointed knees right there. Did you hear that click? He's a very tight guy. Um, uh, tight. I'm, man, I could get into so much trouble <laughs> right here. But double jointed knees right here, uh, and then uh, I'm very impressed with the way his foot goes down like that. Uh, can point down very. very like a good a good angle can go up 
so, uh, like so, and then an ankle rocker giving it that ankle rocker status. Toe pivot action is going freaking crazy. Like, oh my god, haven't seen one of these in forever. I still can't tell you why I'm obsessed with toe pivot action, but it happened anyway. Uh, it does have a bicep swivel right there as well. Did not mention that, but I want to. And as far as like uh, stopping the articulation points and not being able to move, I did want to point out that if he is up like this and his shoulders look normal, uh, he's only going to be able to go up that much. So you're going to have to pull it down, adjust, and then uh, do like that. Uh, so that is it for articulation. Um, have no, no foreseeable gripes for this guy right now. Loving, loving everything he's about, uh, everything that he's coming with and thus far. Let's go ahead and get into paint apps and sculpting. Moving straight along into paint apps and sculpting here. Um, Nothing really going on as far as shading goes for his uh, his top or his shirt, but the DeMaio symbol looks fan freaking fantastic. Looks really, really good. Um, and then you've got this little little ledge there that uh, comes off right there um, and hangs out. Uh, honestly, I really thought it was going to peel off and then we're going to have a hole in it, but... I'm okay with it not because I feel like it would mess with the integrity of the figure and we don't want to do that. But uh, looking really good, the face looks fan freaking fantastic as well. We will get into that in the accessories portion, but the arm, uh, this Demekian arm looks so freaking good. Uh, the, the grooves here, uh, the pink right there, and then uh, he even got his fingernails did or done or whatever you want to say. Uh, all of it looks really good, really, really, really fan freaking fantastic on that uh, as well. You can see a little bit of messiness going ar around that one, but it's it's nothing crazy. It's not it's not gonna break the bank or um, like, no. I mean, same, same thing can be said right there. A little bit of sloppy, not sloppy, but just not uh, imperfections is what I would call it, but it still looks really freaking good. Uh, no shading on the crotch. Never thought you would ever stare into Piccolo's crotch for this long. Look at us. Hey. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Things happen. We don't talk about them. I won't talk about them. No shading on the legs or anything from what I can tell. And uh, same thing can go for the legs right here. Now, I will say his ankles look really good. Um, sporting the same look, same color, and everything right there. Even got the pink and red um, going on right there. And then I did want to show this off the... The knees are glossy back here. It's nothing crazy, but it is there. Um, so that's that's a little something. But I mean, it's in the back of them. If it was on the front, I would be like, hey, that's not right. It's not. It doesn't look good. Also, didn't go over the shoes. They're potato shoes. They look they look cool. They're they're yeah, they're potato shoes. So they look really good. Uh, so and then like the sculpting of the dude. Like I just like I said, I love love all of it they're they've really mastered this whole namekian look so all right um crotch shot no more so that is it for uh paint apps and sculpting now we're gonna go ahead and move on to accessories uh and show off all all of the things he comes with which is a lot so first off we have for accessories uh we have his base uh i would say his base Base face, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, it looks really good. Uh, nothing really too crazy going on there, but um, I do, I do uh, really like the the way the face looks. The smile looks really good. You can almost see individual teeth going on there a little bit, but he does have the teeth line. Uh, the underlining around the eyes look really good. The the pupils, dark evil black, looks really good. Uh, and then the just the sculpting on the dude looks. All, all around really good. There's really nothing going on right uh, right there. And then we've got a little bit of a, just a, just a, just a little uh, forehead wrinkle. And then also, this is my first Piccolo figure, toy, whatever you want to call it. And um, I didn't know that these could come off. They, they, they come off. They come off for each, each individual one. Uh, so you can make it all... You can make them, you can make them turn around like that. So it's really cool that they they move around. They are they are fragile from what I can tell. They 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 do have a little bit of a give, but not much. 
Okay, so next off for uh, x uh we've got his uh, angry, angry, whatever face, uh, showing off the teeth, showing off the fangs. You can even see the gum around it. That looks really good. The wrinkles around the face and the eyes look great as well. The sunken in cheeks uh, showing off the cheekbones and then the veins on top of his head looking fan-freaking-tastic. Obviously, I uh, already showed that the antennas are uh, detachable and can move around and you can do with whatever they want. Uh, underlining around the eyes looks really good, and the pupils are solid AF. Is that something the kids say? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, does this face look good? <laughs> oh, that one, that one looks really good. Really impressed with it. The veins on the head look really good. All, all the way around. All this, yeah. Circle, circle all the way around. So he's not just angry on the front; he's angry on the back too. Uh, veins in the uh, sclera or the white part of his eye looking really, really good. Uh, very, very squiggly. Very just. He's had a bad day. Uh, the pupils look great. Underlining or the lining around the eyes looks great as well. And then this mouth. Look at it. So good. Even got the uvula hanging, hanging down right there. And uh, the fangs, great purple tongue, all of it, just looking, ooh! Okay, I take it back. This is really freaking cool. Like, look at that face. The, uh, the unhinged jaw, the the uh, the cheekbones, the fangs on both ends, the uvula hanging down, the black in his mouth, the tongue, all of it looks really good. The nose, the eyes, the, the veins in the sclera or the white part of his eyes looking great. This one even looking like, he almost wants to cry because I, I've i never hacked up an egg before, but I'm sure it's a little painful. So <laughs> uh, he almost wants to put a tear right there. So that's great. Veins on the forehead looking, or all of it, all the veins looking great, going all the way around the head just like the last one. The antennas are high and high indeed, uh, angled up in a perfect manner to where he's like just, oh, flying and, and spitting eggs and stuff. And you need a hole in your chest to do all this, but it still looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this one brief, but he does come with the one star ball. It looks really good. It is translucent and uh, you can see the star through the other side. Uh, but it's a Dragon Ball. You've seen them before, but they are look they do look really cool And also look how dwarfed they are in his hand that just shows how big this dude is because Dragon Balls are I think they're like softball size or something. So this this dude is uh, He's a big boy uh, and ramping up the excitement for the accessories, we've got this really disgusting egg that he shoots out of his mouth. Uh, little baby Junior Piccolo is in there, Piccolo Junior, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he is in there. Uh, it, it's got a very, very glossy feel and look to it. Uh, so I think that's really cool. I think they did that just to make it slimy looking, even though this is... That's all slime right there. And then you've got the peg hole um, for for the egg right there to stick one of the Tamashii Nation stage, stage four, stage five stands into. Um, now, unfortunately, he does not come with a stand, which is a bit of a bummer because I mean like, you, you're gonna give us something that needs a stand and it's not gonna have it. It's not, it's not cool. Like, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm upset with that. I really, I really don't like it. But I mean, hey, you probably have enough lying around. But still, it's the principle of the matter. And then also, we have this little egg stand thing here that he can, if you, if you just, if you do like that, you can put the egg right there. I don't think it makes any sense. Um, but if you just want to have the egg like sitting on the table or something, you get the stand, so it can actually stand up and have like an alpha alpha hair or whatever whatever it is okay um until now i feel like i have done a pretty good job at ramping up the uh the accessories uh in 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 the matter of excitement and this is my most excited piece look at this rice cooker it is so cool it's got the seal on it and everything and this is the coolest part it hinges and it's got like, it's designed like a rice cooker. It's got the little nub right there like rice cookers have. Even has like a little latch like that so it kind of locks in. 
and has almost like an on button right there, which is so good. Um, you don't want to see that. And then, look at it. It's, 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 it's got an AC adapter. <laughs> okay, it's really cool. I really do love this piece. And uh, bringing it back old school, I would say that this is the crowning jewel of accessories uh, for this guy. I love, love the way this thing looks. It's just the little things that make this guy just work. And so that is it as far as accessories. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to hands, uh, which there's a decent amount of, so let's go ahead and do that. So doing it for hands, we have got six interchangeable hands, uh, and we got a, a pointy death, death, death beam finger. I know it's not a death beam, please don't correct me in the comments. I know it's just like a, he shot, shot someone and did that. Uh, we got a knife, Knife choppy hand right here, which is actually very, very nicely done. Uh, and the nails look really good. And then we got two normal key blast hands here and fisty hands. Uh, also, totally screwed that up. We got eight interchangeable hands. Uh, so, like, balled up fisty hands, key blast hands, choppy hand, pointy hand, and then uh, claw hands. Uh, so all of them looking really good. Uh, a decent, decent amount of accessories as far as hands go. For him and then the egg uh, the, the the cooker looks looks ah it's so good all of it all of it's really good now I want to see how tall this uh, this big uh, this big slug man is this this king uh, see if he uh, scales well with uh, the rest of the Dragon Ball peoples and I'm just gonna put them all out there just just to have fun see see see, see. like he towers over him that's that's all I got say. so this demon king stands at a that Ooh, look at that almost uh, seven and a half inches uh, right there so he is a big boy indeed uh, is he big as the other biggest boys that have come out thus far uh, we will see that in a minute but now I want to go ahead and see him uh, up to the Dragon Ball peoples all right yes indeed does he look good with him towers over all of these dudes and um, Pretty tall over Goku. Uh, I did want to use Goku just because uh, I know there's a picture out there floating around. Tony, if you can go ahead and put that. Thank you. Uh, up right there. So he looks pretty, 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 pretty close uh, to what he should be. And uh, very, very good with uh, Master Roshi, Krillin, and Kid Goku. So looking fan freaking fantastic. Love the way that they did the scaling on him. Uh, can't wait to see Tao Pai Pai Pipu. Um, or Mercenary Tal uh, in January. Uh, just gonna see how they stack up with each other. Now I want to go ahead and see. Like I said, he is—he's a tall boy. He, he, but is he the tallest boy? I don't think he is. But we'll see how he stacks with the rest of the dudes. And so there he is with uh, some of Tomashi Nation's tallest boys. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how tall he is. He looks like he matches uh, Super Boo, Majin Boo, Evil Boo whatever you want to call him, and then uh, Broly is still holding the, the reign uh, for the tallest of the dudes or the newest dudes that we have gotten. Uh, so yeah, guys, we have done articulation, paint apps, sculpting, accessory, size and size comparisons. So now, without further ado, it is time to... Look at this photograph Ladies and gentle collectors, are you entertained? I'm not even going to give you an option or chance to say yes or no because 
I am so impressed by this dude. Like it, it like he. I, I'll put it out there right now. Best Dragon Ball figure we've got. I will say that that's not saying too much. Uh, the Kid Goku's are awesome. Um, they, they're they're really good figures, but th this dude is just. Mm, so it's making me really excited for uh, Mercenary Tal coming next year. So 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 excited. Um. I really don't have any super crazy gripes to um, to say about him, except for that he doesn't come with a stand for his little shooty uh, junior piccolo egg, uh, gross egg sort of thing. And um, uh, the hands, like, uh, or, or actually the elbows aren't fully uh, double jointed because of those massive pythons right there. But that's really my biggest gripes, and they're not that crazy because I'm pretty sure that you have a stand lying around just like I did and you can make the egg fly just like boom sort of thing uh, so my rating scale is like it love it got to freaking have it or got to have it as uh, some would say and um, it's gotta be gotta freaking have it holy crap dude this this guy is awesome loving loving everything he's about like there's like I said, there's nothing to complain about. He's just a solid release, solid figure. Uh, by far the best Dragon Ball figure that we have gotten thus far. That does not include Z. Don't at me. Or, or Super, don't at me. This is Dragon Ball, the original series in general. That's the best figure that we have gotten. Uh, but if you like those, uh, those, those pictures going on uh, in the middle there, uh, or actually right before the break, uh, make sure you head on over to, thank you so much Vegeta, every day, every time, LeCompton underscore projects, and check those out, give them a like, give them a follow, check them out, d do all the things, comment on there if you want. Uh, I love it. Um, but I'm so, so thankful that you guys are watching. I'm watching the uh, the activity of this channel go up tremendously. I'm a little further away from my, uh, my New Year's resolution than I wanted to be. I wanted to have 500 subscribers by uh, January. Uh, starting last year, I think I had like about like 90. So we have made tremendous growth, and I cannot got, thank you guys so much, so, so freaking much. I, I love it. Uh, we just passed 300, so I'm, 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 ah, uh, ah, uh, just, you love me. You really do. But until next time, guys, Compton out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button to let you know when my videos are coming out. And YouTube and math say you'll probably like that video over to the right. So you should probably click that. Yeah? All right. See you guys next time.